Hi! Welcome to Holy Time TV. Before we start, smash that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. The story of Isaac digging wells in Genesis chapter 26 can be interpreted to teach various lessons, depending on one's perspective. Here are some possible lessons from this story. Perseverance. Isaac faced numerous obstacles while digging wells, including disputes and opposition from others. However, he continued to dig new wells, showing the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity. Conflict Resolution Isaac chose not to fight with those who tried to claim his wells, but instead, he moved on and dug new wells. This can teach us the value of avoiding unnecessary conflict and seeking peaceful resolutions to disputes. Trust in God God appeared to Isaac in Genesis chapter 26 verse 24 to reassure him and reaffirm the covenant he had made with Abraham. This event shows the importance of trusting in God's guidance and protection, even in difficult situations. God's Faithfulness The story demonstrates God's faithfulness to his promises. He promised to bless Isaac and his descendants, and even in the face of opposition, God remained faithful to that promise. Patience and Humility Isaac displayed patience and humility by not asserting his rights over the wells or retaliating against those who wronged him. This teaches us the value of being patient and humble in our own lives, even when we feel wronged or mistreated. One might advise Christians facing continuous attacks or opposition by drawing inspiration from Isaac's story and offering the following guidance. Pray and trust in God. Isaac trusted in God, and God reassured him in Genesis chapter 26 verse 24. Likewise, Christians should pray and seek guidance, trusting that God will provide support and direction in difficult situations. Practice patience and humility. Isaac showed patience and humility by not asserting his rights or retaliating against those who wronged him. Christians should follow this example, even when faced with adversity remembering that, blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth, Matthew chapter 5 verse 5. Seek peaceful resolution. Instead of engaging in conflicts, Isaac chose to move on and dig new wells. Christians should strive for peace and try to resolve disputes amicably whenever possible. As Jesus taught in Matthew chapter 5 verse 9, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Stand firm in your faith. Despite the challenges, Isaac never wavered in his faith. Similarly, Christians should remain steadfast in their beliefs and rely on God for strength. Following the exhortation in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13, therefore put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Show love and forgiveness. Jesus taught his followers to love their enemies and pray for those who persecute them, Matthew chapter 5 verse 44. Christians should strive to show love and forgiveness, even to those who attack them, following Jesus' example of mercy and compassion. Seek support from your community. Christians should not face challenges alone but should seek support from their faith community, family, and friends. Encouragement and guidance from fellow believers can help one remain strong and persevere through difficult situations. Remember, every situation is unique, and Christians should prayerfully consider their circumstances and seek God's wisdom to determine the best course of action. As a Christian facing a situation similar to Isaac's, one should consult with God through prayer and reflection, seeking guidance on how to handle the issue. Let's consider a more specific example. Imagine you are a Christian business owner, and your competitor has been engaging in unethical practices to steal your clients, such as spreading false rumors about your business or using deceitful tactics to undermine your reputation. This has caused significant harm to your business and livelihood. As a believer, you should pray for guidance. Begin by praying to God for wisdom, understanding, and direction in handling this challenging situation. Ask for strength to respond with integrity and for God to help you discern the right course of action. 
Reflect on biblical principles. Consider relevant teachings from scripture, such as, do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 9, and, let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Colossians chapter 4 verse 6. Seek peaceful resolution. Reach out to your competitor with kindness and express your concerns in a respectful, non-confrontational manner. Attempt to address the issue calmly and seek a peaceful resolution that benefits both parties. Maintain integrity. Continue to conduct your business ethically, following Christian values and principles. As Proverbs chapter 11 verse 3 says, the integrity of the upright guides them, but the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity. Forgive and love. Forgive your competitor for their actions and pray for them. Show them love and kindness, reflecting the love of Christ. Remember Jesus' words in Matthew chapter 5 verses 43 to 44. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Trust in God's plan. Remember that God is sovereign and in control of all things, even when circumstances are challenging. Trust in his plan and provision knowing that he will work everything out for the good of those who love him romans chapter 8 verse 28 by approaching the situation in this manner you are demonstrating your faith in god's guidance and embodying christian values in your actions if you like this video don't forget hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future see you in the next video thanks for watching